Hello and welcome to our pause for prayer for this week. I'm going to read some verses from Luke chapter 10. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. And so they go and they tell people the good news of the kingdom and they work miracles. And then in verse 17, it says the 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. What a powerful picture that is. As they've gone out and they've proclaimed the good news of the kingdom, it's like Satan was falling from heaven. There was this great move in the spiritual world. And I don't know about you, but I, as a Christian, I know that I am sent. I am called and I am sent by Jesus to go and to tell others the good news of the kingdom of God. And yet so often I struggle to do that. Um, and over the last couple of years with the pandemic, I feel like I've done a much worse job than normal because um, lots of the places in church and in the community that I would have been involved in, they've not been they've not been operating in normal ways. They've not been the opportunities to to get involved there. Um, and in my personal life, you know, I, I feel like a lot of our social contacts have reduced, haven't they, through the pandemic? We've not seen people as often. We've been spent much more time in our own homes or in isolation. And yet we're still called and we're still sent. Jesus still says to us, go, I am sending you. And so I want to encourage you today to think about how is Jesus using you? How are you being one of his witnesses? Um, you know, we know, don't we, the Great Commission. Jesus sends us at the end of his ministry on earth. He sends us to go and tell others the good news, baptising them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them everything that Jesus has taught us. How do we do that? How are you going to do that? One of the things I found very helpful over the past few years is the, the Fruitfulness on the Front Line series. And some of you might remember we did it in church maybe five years ago now. Um, but the idea is that all of us are to be fruitful on our front lines. Our front lines is where we spend our everyday lives. Fruitful for God, fruitful in sharing good news. And I just want to encourage us to, to think about those six M's that that series has of ways that we can do that. Um, and so we're going to pray that God will help us to do that. So Father, help us to be your people, to be your children, to be your witnesses, to be called and sent by you and to bear fruit for you on our front lines. First of all, Lord, we pray that you would help us to model godly character, to be people who shine with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. Give us your grace. Give us your Holy Spirit in order that we might bear that fruit. Secondly, we pray that you would help us to make good work. Whatever we do, whether paid or unpaid, whether something that we do every day or just occasionally, Lord, help us to do what we do well, to do it in a way that gives glory and honour to you. Thirdly, help us to minister grace and love. Help us to be good Samaritans with hearts that overflow with mercy and compassion for those around us. Give us the time to go the extra mile, to make the effort, to step out and, and bless others, not because they deserve it, but because we see an opportunity to serve them and to serve you. Fourthly, help us to mould culture to be salt and light, to be people who, who bring something of your kingdom into the world in which we live. Fifthly, help us to be a mouthpiece for truth and justice, standing up for what is right, standing up for others who might face injustice. And finally, help us to be messengers of the gospel. 
you know that the message that we have from you is a life changing message, a world changing message. And you have asked us. You have asked us, each one of us, to play our part in sharing that message. Help us not to focus on all the times we failed to do that, but empower us now with your Holy Spirit that we might go as you send us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us once again. We hope to see you next week.